السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو آن لائن کلاسز آف اقرا الفاظ بائی سیکنڈری اسکول آ پروجیکٹ آف اقرا ایجوکیشن سسٹم ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو سیشن وی ول لرن اباؤٹ نیریشن واٹ از نیریشن دا ورلڈ نیریشن ہیز کم ان ٹو ایگزٹینس فرام دا ورلڈ نیریٹ نیریشن از ناؤن اینڈ نیریٹ از ورڈ If you understand the word narrate, you can easily understand narration. Narrate means to describe, to quote. In simple words, narration means a statement quoted or described by somebody. So when a narrator, when who is narrating, when a narrator describes the words spoken by somebody else is called narration. There are two types of narration, direct narration and indirect narration. You can look at your board. Direct narration means when narrator describes the actual words spoken. Direct narration means when narrator describes the actual words spoken by somebody, that statement is called direct narration. And what is indirect narration? when narrator changes the actual words into his own words when narrator changes the actual words into his own words that statement is called indirect narration let's understand this with the help of an activity i will exemplify you narrative sentences I will exemplify you direct and indirect narration with the help of an activity and for that activity I want you to call for your either brother or sister whoever is available around you. I can wait for you to call your brother so that we can do this activity and understand fully what direct narration is and what indirect narration is. So do you have your brother with you? Okay. Now you people have to follow my instructions. You and your brother. Tell your brother to say something to you. Yes. Tell your brother to say something to you. Anything. Anything he wants to tell you. Yes. Has he said? Okay. Now, tell us that sentence what your brother said exactly. Every single word what he said. Yeah, I hear you say this. Okay, he said that. Now, repeat the sentence of your brother but in your own words, not in the actual words of your brother. Yes, make changes according to you. For example, uh, you can see an example before you on the board. First you say it, my brother said, I am fine. When I told you people to do this activity, and I told you to tell your brother to say something to you. For example, your brother said, I am fine. Your brother said, I am fine. And when I asked you, to repeat the sentence in the actual words of your brother. So you said, my, sir, my brother said, I am fine. So your brother said, I am fine. Your brother used I for him and said, I am fine. Then I ask you to repeat the sentence in your own words. So you said, sir, my brother said that he was fine. So the first sentence written on the board before you, my brother said, I am fine. This is the actual sentence, I am fine, without any changes in the words. And the next sentence written on the board, my brother said that he was fine. What you did, 
when I told you to repeat the sentence, but in your actual words, in your own words. So you said, sir, my brother said that he was fine. So you understand the difference between my brother said I am fine, my brother said that he was fine. So this is the difference between direct narration and indirect narration. The first sentence and example is direct narration where you did not make any changes to the actual words of your brother. And the second sentence my brother said that he was fine is an indirect narration where you made changes in the actual words of your brother in your own words. So this is the process. This is called direct narration and indirect narration. What I'm going to teach you today in this video, how you can change a direct narrative sentence into an indirect narrative sentence. So I'm going to tell you what changes we make when we are converting a sentence of direct narration into a sentence of indirect narration. Let's understand the process of converting an, a direct sentence into an indirect sentence. I have slightly modified the sentence exemplified before. My brother said to me, I am fine now. The indirect sentence of this direct sentence is, my brother told me that he was fine then. What changes we have made and how we have converted this direct sentence into an indirect sentence, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to explain you. You must concentrate and focus on my instructions, on my lecture and on the board. Now here you see five steps to indirect narration. I will tell you all five steps one by one. But before that, I will tell you if there is a direct narration sentence like one written on the board my brother said to me I am fine now so we have two parts of this one sentence the first part my brother said to me is called reporting a speech you can look at it I have underlined this reporting a speech and the second part inside inverted commas is called reported speech. I have underlined this also reported speech. So the first part of a direct sentence is called reporting speech which is outside the commas and the second part I find now which is inside the commas is called reported speech. So you must understand to differentiate between reporting speech and reported speech. The speech which is outside the comma is called reporting speech and the speech which is inside the commas is called reported speech. So if you understand these two parts of the sentence, you can easily understand the next five parts or the steps to indirect narration. Reporting speech and reported speech. Whatever I am repeating, whatever is outside the inverted commas is called reporting speech. And whatever is inside the commas is called reported speech. So these are the five steps written on the board before you. Step number one, change of verb, which means say to. Change of verb is the first step. The second step is change of commas. The third step is change of pronouns. Fourth step is change of tense or verb and step number five is change of adverb, adverb of time or place. So you see before you there are five steps. If you do these five steps one by one in sequence, your direct sentence will get converted into indirect sentence. I would further tell you, you can look at these five steps here. I have divided these five steps in two. Step number one and step number two. These steps belong to reporting speech. While step number three 
step number four and step number five belong to reported speech. These two changes take place in reporting speech and these three changes take place in reported speech. What is reporting speech and what is reported speech we have previously explained. My brother said to me is reporting speech. While the speech inside the commas I am fine now is the reported speech. So my brothers we make two changes in reporting speech and three changes in reported speech. Let's take a look at it. My brother said to me is reporting a speech and which two changes we have to make here in this reporting speech. My brother said to me, comma and then inverted commas are there. Said to is the verb and commas are given here. Commas and inverted commas. So we make changes in the verb in reporting a speech and in commas. Then after these two changes, we move on to the reported speech and we make three changes in reported speech. What are these three changes? Change of pronouns. Whatever pronoun is given here inside these inverted commas, we make changes to these pronouns. Right now in this sentence, I am fine now, there is only one pronoun in this sentence, I. The next change we will make is change of tense. It says here, I am fine. M is used for present. You can further go here to this example given, which has been converted into indirect sentence, so you can easily understand. Here, there is M, and here, there is was. So the change of tense, how this change takes place, I'm going to explain you one by one step by step. Then the last step in reported speech is change of adverb of time or place. For example here we have now and here we have then. In direct sentence the adverb is now. In indirect sentence we changed this now into then. You can look at this example again. My brother said to me I am fine now. All five changes have taken place in the indirect sentence here. My brother told me, said to, got changed into told and these commas changed into that. Now, in reported speech we made three changes. I became he, uh, this is the pronoun, am, which is the verb, became was and now became then, which is the adverb in the sentence. Here we have step number one, change of verb. And to understand this step number one, which is change of verb, I will take you back to class six, where you study and learn about kinds of sentences. You must remember there are four kinds of sentence in English, declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, an exclamatory sentence. My brothers, in order to understand change of verb, you need to recapitulate these kinds of sentence to actually understand how it works. Now I'm going to tell you, if in the reported speech, declarative sentence is given, what is reported speech? I'll show you. This is reported speech and here in the sentence, in the example given above, I am fine now. Reported speech is the speech given inside the brackets. Reported speech is the speech given inside the commas. I am fine now. So this is the reported speech. The change which we are talking about, the change of verb. This change of verb depends upon the kind of sentence given here in the reported speech. For example, if declarative sentence is given here in reported speech, what change we make I am going to tell you. So I hope you have understood from the example there what reported speech is. If in the reported speech declarative sentence is given, 
So we convert say to into told. If in the reported speech an interrogative sentence is given, we change said to into asked. If in the reported speech an imperative sentence is given, we change said to into either requested or ordered. So here, either requested or ordered. And if in the reported speech an exclamatory sentence is given, we change said to into exclaimed with and then we can use any one of these words according to the sentence, exclamatory sentence. Uh, exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with sorrow, exclaimed with pain, exclaimed with relief, exclaimed with surprise, etc. So now you have understood, you have looked at it, the chart is given here. If you have declarative sentence in reported speech, you will change said to into told. If you have interrogative sentence in reported speech, you will change said to into asked. If there is an imperative sentence given in reported speech, you will change said to into requested or ordered. If an exclamatory sentence is given in reported speech, you will change said to into exclaimed with joy or sorrow or pain, relief, surprise, etc. So far you have understood what direct narration and indirect narration are and then I explained you about the two parts of a direct sentence, the first part is the reporting speech which is outside the commas and the second part is reported speech which is inside the commas. And then I explain to you about the five steps to indirect narration. Step number one, change of verb. Step number two, change of commas. Step number three, change of pronouns. Step number four, change of tense. And step number five, change of adverb, adverb of time or place. So these five changes we have to make in a direct sentence to convert it into an indirect sentence. So these five changes are written before you and out of these five changes we have now studied or we have learned about the first step that is change of verb. I told you about that if you want to know, know or learn how to change the verb of reporting speech you need to know or remember the kinds of sentence. If there is declarative sentence we use told. If there is interrogative sentence we use asked. If there is imperative sentence, we use requested or ordered. If there is an exclamatory sentence, we use exclaim with joy or sorrow or pain, etc. Now we are going to learn about the second change, that is change of commas. Step number two, change of commas. I will explain you step number two, change of commas. With the help of the same figure, I gave you in step number one, when we were learning to make changes in C2. The change of commas also depends upon the kind of sentence we have in the reporting speech, reported speech. The change of commas also depends upon the kind of sentence we have in reported speech. You remember I told you recently about declarative sentence given in the uh, reported speech. You remember I told you about declarative sentence given in the reported speech. We may change to say to into told. Same as commas are changed into that. If interrogative sentence is given, commas are changed into either if or wh word. You know that there are two types of interrogative sentences. Simple interrogative sentence and wh interrogative sentence which is called wh question. So if there is WH question given inside the commas, uh, it has reported a speech, you will use the same WH word here instead of commas. If there is simple question given, you will use if instead of commas. If imperative sentence is given in reported a speech, you will change commas into to. If exclamatory sentence is given in reported a speech, you will change commas into that. This is the figure before you. You people can pause the video here and draw the same figure in your either register or in your rough copies. 
So it will help you out when you are making changes uh, in direct sentences and converting them into indirect sentences. So these two changes you can look at it and you can get to know that what change to make in which case. If there is declarative sentence, you change said to into told and commas into that. If there is an interrogative sentence, you change said to into asked and commas into either if or wh word. If you have imperative sentence in reported speech, you change said to into requested or ordered and you change commas into to. If you have exclamatory sentence, you change said to into exclaimed with and so on. Uh, joy, sorrow, pain, relief, etc. and you change commas into that. I hope you have understood the definition of narration and the steps we take to make indirect sentence. There are five steps. I have explained you two steps out of five and that's all for now because that will be too much learning for you people in one video. So there will be second part of this narration inshallah either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I hope whatever you have understood, you will try to apply this in the sentences. I am not giving you any homework right now because you have not fully understood what narrations are. I will give you the narrative uh, assignments in the second video inshallah. Okay? That's it for now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.